so we have to go straight, but there's construction blocking the entire street and there's only one lane open on the left. Hey guys, today is a bit special because we're not driving in New Jersey. Today we'll be driving in Syracuse, upstate New York. It'll be interesting to see how well FSD performs in a less populated area. Let's dive in. We just did some shopping at Lowe's and now we're heading to a retro video game store called Voltage Video Games. After starting FSD from park, it waits for a car on the right to pass before safely leaving the parking lot. Sometimes FSD can take a while to start when starting it from park. I honestly thought it was stuck this time. Thank God I didn't disengage. For those who actively follow my channel, you may notice a boost in visual quality. Previously, I used my DJI action camera to record FSD videos. It was great because it was small and easy to throw in the car, but I wanted to improve the quality of my videos since I have more viewers now. I'm now using a Fujifilm camera for better quality. My car setup is quite elaborate, but allows you to see my drives in greater detail. I'll be upgrading to a wider lens in future videos, which will provide a broader view and more stabilized footage, so stay tuned for that. We're on the freeway now and I see some construction, which always makes me a bit nervous. Two lanes are about to merge into one. FSD gets assertive here, squeezing in front of a white car. I honestly thought we wouldn't make it. This happened to me before on a freeway in New Jersey where FSD accelerated to get in front of a car just before the two lanes merge. The driver of that car was absolutely not happy with FSD's maneuver. This drive is quite short, but I'm going to squeeze in a few pieces of Tesla news. This isn't really news, but rather an observation from the Tesla community. It has been several months since the last FSD version. Fans are wondering if we'll get any more FSD updates before the RoboTaxi launch in June. There are people who are in the Early Access program, but they signed an NDA, so we're not hearing much from them. I do hope we get an update soon. I'll definitely be recording drives of the next update for you guys once it comes out. It's Tesla earnings week, and I'm guessing it won't be great due to the ramp up of the new Model Y. However, Elon might shift the narrative of the earnings call by talking about how Tesla can improve the likelihood of success for the RoboTaxi event in Austin. There were also hints from a prior earnings call about a new affordable model, but recent news from some outlets suggest it may be delayed. We also have a preview of retail and institutional investor questions that will be asked this week on the Q1 earnings call. There are quite a few, but I'm most interested in when unsupervised FSD will be released and what the highest risk items for the RoboTaxi launch are, as well as how Tesla plans to address them. I'm excited about the new affordable model, but I'm more interested in the RoboTaxi launch as it will drive the next major growth wave for the company. You've probably heard this before, but this shift will pivot Tesla from being a car company to an AI company. We're already seeing this happen with full self-driving. We have a weird moment here. Once again, two lanes are about to merge into one. FSD turns on its right turn signal. Afterwards, it swerves a little too close to the right. It felt like it didn't know that the two lanes merged. I might be overthinking it, but it did feel unnatural when I was in the car. We're finally getting off the freeway now and we're about to see some city action. FSD needs to yield here before getting onto the main street. It waits for a safe opening and drives to the middle lane. If you look at our navigation, we need to drive straight. As we proceed forward, we see construction blocking most of the street. FSD notices a small opening on the left and maneuvers toward it. It's amazing how full self-driving can quickly problem solve on the spot. The construction is to our right, and we need to make a right turn here. There is an opening, and FSD executes a smooth right turn. A car is also double parked right in front of us, but that's no problem. FSD is able to maneuver around it with confidence. That's the end of the drive. I disengage here because there's a car behind me, so I need to park quickly. How do you think FSD performed today? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.